Want to know what's inside this box? Keep watching. Hi everyone, this is Audra with Pathfinder Strong. Today I want to talk to you about something very important that all Pathfinder directors, directors should think about, and that is field uniforms. For those of you that don't know, there are two different kinds of uniforms. Actually, there's more variations, but two main, main kinds, dress uniform, field uniform. So dress uniforms are like the button-up shirts and black slacks or skirts that you order from Advent Source. Field uniforms are the more casual uniform, like your club t-shirt. That's what I have in this box. So my club actually has several variations of field uniforms, which I will tell you about, but I'm gonna start with the first one. This is our club t-shirt. They're navy blue with this white print. Um, we've ordered them from the same place, uh, this company called Big Frog for years and years. They're really high quality and they last really well. Second thing that we have for our field uniform is a club hoodie sweatshirt. Has a hood, has a little hand pocket. It's also navy blue with our white logo on it. These are a little bit expensive, but so worth the investment because if you go anywhere, um, especially camping or, or whatever, the first thing kids wanna do is put a jacket on and that covers up your club t-shirt and logo. So now you don't all look uniform anymore. You look all different, but when kids can just put their hoodie on, then you still all look the same, but everybody's warm and snuggly. The last thing that we have is a club polo shirt. So this is just a standard polo shirt, three buttons, collar, and it has a little bit different variation of our logo on the left pocket area. Now here's what we do with these. Every first Sabbath of the month at our church, we uh, lead out in the church service. We sing songs, we do children's story, we take up offering, they help in the AV booth, etc., etc. And our kids haven't been super excited about wearing full class A dress uniform. So just to kind of dress it up a little bit, but still look uniform, on first Sabbath of the month, we all wear this club polo shirt and a pair of khaki dress slacks and black shoes. Sometimes the girls wear khaki dress skirts, but you know. now nobody get all upset. It's not like we're trying to get rid of class A dress uniforms. All of our club members still have a class A dress uniform. Do we wear them? Yes. But since uh, we do it every single month, um, you know, washing a dress, a, a dress uniform is a little bit difficult. You gotta take all those pins off. Um, you gotta be careful with the way you wash it with all the patches on it and everything. And it's just a pain, especially to be doing it every single month. So this polo and khaki idea was born out of just trying to give us something to set us apart, something dressier, but that was a little easier to take care of than a full class A dress uniform. I mean, honestly, let's be realistic. We're working with kids. So if, if you have potluck after church, um, wearing a dress uniform and eating, probably not a great idea. Um, you know, so when do we wear our dress uniform? Uh, we wear it a couple times a year on the first Sabbath of the month um, on special occasions like uh, World Pathfinder Day. We also do wear it for investiture and induction services. We also wear our dress uniform anytime we do anything at conference level or area wide. So if we go on a campery or anything like that where there's a lot of Pathfinders together, we usually always wear a dress uniform there. So here's how we cheapen this up a little bit. Um, with their yearly registration fee, every kid gets two t-shirts, one polo and one hoodie. And um, we cheapen that up by when they grow out of it, they turn it back in and then we give them a new size. So then we can reuse those sizes for those, the younger kids that are coming up. You know what, I would really love to see pictures of what your club t-shirts look like. So if you wanna post a picture of what your t-shirts look like in the comments or what you do uh, differently for either field uniform or, or dressier uniform, I would love to know. Feel free to uh, subscribe and comment and like and share and all that stuff. See you next time.